it seems like a lot of us are living in a kind of false security, a kind of temporary place of sort of comfort. Um, a little hole of mediocrity, it might feel uh, at its worst, or uh, maybe at its best, something that's all right, good enough, safe and comfortable. Or maybe it's not feeling that way anymore. But typically there is, between the place that we are now and the place that we want to be, is a lot of difficult territory. Uh, the road of development typically is not through comfortable terrain. I strongly believe that once the ball gets rolling, it becomes an, a clearly better way of life. Uh, we, it, we don't have to get to some kind of full achievement level in order to enjoy, enjoy it better. We just need to get started, get moving in a good direction, and that makes life better just by virtue of feeling like this is the right path. But to get to that point from the comfortable place to the better place, it will certainly go through some difficult territory. And it seems like this is what stops people. This is, this is what gets people into the comfortable place to begin with. Um, and I know that's how it was with me. I didn't want to face the uncomfortable things. I wanted to be comfortable and happy at all times. Uh, so I avoided doing anything that was uncomfortable. And doing this builds up a little, a little house of comfort, a little place where everything is set up to be inoffensive, to be pleasant, agreeable, and not particularly challenging. Everything out there that was uncomfortable outside the comfort zone was avoided. And of course, you can imagine what this leads to. The comfortable place becomes a smaller and smaller trap. The longer time we spend in comfort, the less ability we have to handle the difficulties of life. And so the domain of this comfort zone shrinks smaller and smaller you know, until it becomes a prison um, where we languish and weaken. And that left me feeling like I needed to change. I needed to get out of this hole and I knew that there was something out there. I knew that there was a better way of living. But in every direction around my little house of comfort, everything was uncomfortable. There was no way to change my situation without stepping into discomfort. I had to make things worse before they got better. This seems like the biggest obstacle to starting change, to starting a self-development journey. Letting go of some of our comforts and being able to step into this unknown, uncomfortable wilderness of pain with the faith that we are making steps that will lead to something brighter, something better. It sounds 
extreme and sometimes it does feel that way uh, because living in that house of comfort uh, anything that's slightly uncomfortable uh, seems seems like a terrible thing uh, the longer we live in comfort the more difficult it is to do anything uncomfortable the more anything becomes a challenge but the bright side of all this is although it can look like a an endless wilderness outside outside the comfort zone once we start moving in that wilderness once we start moving through discomfort we start to become stronger and then the journey itself can become an enjoyable one an enjoyable challenge and we can start to get our own little island of comfort our own little traveling comfort zone as we travel through the wilderness of discomfort knowing that the simple knowledge that we're moving in the right direction moving in a good direction is enough to make this discomfort into something not only bearable but something that can be embraced because we know that this is a step on the way to the life we want to live. And then it starts to feel like it's a prison escape. We're leaving that prison of comfort behind and going out on a real life adventure. <laughs>